We can write our fanfic later. There, there's plenty of fanfic to be had in Smash Brothers, <laughs> but we're not even going to broach that universe because there's just plenty of exciting gameplay to talk and about instead. lots of auto reticles. Thankfully, there's plenty of gameplay to talk about because reading fanfic on the stream just sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> an exotic idea, nonetheless. <laughs> Was that an up smash? That was an up smash. He put I his heart and soul into that up smash. I'm not really sure what the plan was with that up smash, but you know, you really went for it. You tried your best. All the specials coming up from both sides. None of them want to approach. Yo, that read the directional air dodge brilliantly with the axe. Lots of axes. Wow, did the you The delay. See that? I that, love it. That was strangely delayed. Intentionally delayed, I think. Because he went for a second one afterwards. It's kind of a mix-up. Again, saving the double jump the entire way. Uh, oh, oh, oh. That's what I think whenever he tethers like that. <laughs> and then when they just hang for a bit and let them bounce. And she re-grabs. This is dangerous. What? Okay. Whoa. Fourth throw, I guess, just eventually kills him. Holy crap. You know the Piantas from Mario Sunshine that say I'm a Chuckster and they just throw you? <laughs> that was that was literally Frosty right there. Frosty the Chuckster <laughs> in Losers Finals. The Chuckster. Oh my god. That explosive flame from far in disadvantage is gonna blow up Frosty off the top. No, it's a two-star game. Holy Cross making its way to Karina. And you know, there's like you have a counter on the part of uh, of Palutena that can reflect projectiles, but there's just so many projectiles. It's so hard to know which ones the optimal ones to counter. Yeah. I don't blame Karna for not going for that option, really. There's a lot. Is is the counter reflect like one time only, or does it stay out and like reflect more things for a bit? I believe it's one time Ooh. only in this game. Okay, we got word from Corsi Joe that it is one time only. Thank you. It's it's not the same where you can just kind of hold it and let it let it sit as it was in Smash Four. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. But, but that means very you, you get the counter and the reflect built into the same move, so you pay for the strength of it in Smash Four for the versatility of it in the ultimate. So, Axe is way on be. deck. Yeah. That makes sense. Explosive flame. Yeah, training these blows back and forth. Up air, very fresh, but not enough to KO. Second time, fishing for it. Calls him out big time, and this is a pretty back and forth match. They're learning a lot about each other's character's strengths and weaknesses in this matchup. Looking for another re-grab on the uh, holy water. And that's a dash attack, popping him up, not turning into anything else. Back air buys a lot of space for Crossy on the stage. Whoa, wow, caught him out. Really good. Caught the inward approach, trying to make their way out of those specials. Saving the jump again, making sure to use that air dodge in the very far corners of the blast zone. I love that style of gameplay from Frosty. I'm definitely going to adapt that to my Richter. You play Richter? On and off. Yeah. Squad strike all random. Of course I play Richter. Heck yeah, he's cool. Oh, and missing the up air. Just not necessarily understanding the timing on that up B quite yet here as Karna. She still has to learn the matchup slightly in that regard. But okay, back air gets it done. Back air is going to hurt. Just throwing all these buttons in the face of the Canadian challenger here. The Canadian challenger. Yeah, just throwing out so many hitboxes in forward air, and or sorry, forward tilt and forward air. Ford, Ford Tilt particularly just is so fast. And look at it wow. go. You thought you could counter the Holy Fire, but nah, son. That is why you don't use it. Lots of end lag on it. Instead of just shielding, instead had to take the forward smash for her sins. She's gone. I love all the Richter victory poses. <laughs> you missed me do the Richter victory pose. The For the better. The, pe the half I'm peace sign is sick, but... The half peace sign is sick. The fist in the air is so classy. If you can perfect incorporating the half peace sign into your everyday life, you will be the coolest dude in the Midwest. No, we're all not cool. That's just a rule.
Yeah, true. If you play Smash Brothers and you're in the Midwest, you are just lame. <laughs> but we accept it. Speak for yourself. We accept it as a universal truth. Yeah, who am I kidding? <laughs> <laughs> You'll wake up tomorrow and be like, I'm not cool. <laughs> I suck. Aw, man. FD. Taking away those platforms. Yeah. Comfortability, I see it. She was getting harassed, especially by the up airs and forward airs on those platforms. But the forward air is right back. Sending Richter to the corners. Nice recovery going kind of at a weird angle, but Owen oh, gets him off the top! That'll do it. The up B scoops and dumps right off the top. Scoops and dumps. Wow, goes really low for that Nair. Unfortunately, Frosty with the awareness fell even lower, but was still able to make it back. All the recoveries from Frosty have been fantastic in this set. And just in general, this tournament, he has made recoveries I didn't think Richter could make. Well, and this glaring flaw that the character has, you really have to find ways around it if you want to especially excel against other characters. And he is doing that. Yeah, he's been moving and it's another one for the upbeat. No, great DI. But that almost KO'd again. That move is known to be a rage monster in the early outset of this game, but so far, Karna is one for two on avoiding the KOs in that situation. Auto reticle just gonna buy a little bit of space. And now closing the gap in there with the uh But you oh no! You just let your guard down for a second, that up air just reaches so high and cleans up. Two stocks to one again for Frosty. It cleans out. Frosty's looking pretty good, but Karina can still very much bring it back. Look at the Take shield this. pressure that the Holy Cross and the forward tilt just puts on. The shield's so low, and look at poke. The pokes are already happening. Very much. This is a fresh stop so from Karina, angles. and her shield's already that low. Oh, God. Sneaking by. Tilt. Waiting out the back air and just getting grabs off of it on the ground. Just that's that's really the best punish you could possibly get on that move. It's pretty safe in general. Is that gonna KO? Yes! From the top, so many up bees. Do you know the name of that special? What's the name of that special? Isn't it like It's the really cool way to kill people special move. That's what it's called. I think it's on Max Ketchum tweet that he wants to make it established that it's called the DP for Dracula Punch. Dracula Punch? <laughs> it's not a punch, it's a kick! <laughs> Get out of here, Max! But you can still wake up and do it! That's true. Wake up Dracula Punch. Dracula Kick. Whatever. Okay. Battlefield, here we come! Karna on her last game, potentially in this tournament. She needs to get a reverse three, which we saw a bunch of them, and then we stopped seeing them basically for the entire time in this top eight. So that would be news. Forward air into dash attack. The classic, we've seen that a lot throughout this top eight. Holy water on deck. She caught it and rethrew it, actually. Try and go for a tech chase read with it. Insane plays. Yeah, it's very much an item until it Breaks and procs. Air dodge from unfortunate positioning for Frosty. That's gonna cost him the stock early. Sometimes it'd be like that. And not taking the stock, the battlefield pick doing dividends. Oh, and looking to fish off stage with the forward air instead. Okay, second tries the charm. Frosty looking fresh. Yippee Kaye with the freaking whip. I thought you were going to say the whole quote for a second. I was like, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> you probably shouldn't do that. Who do I look like, Sturm? This, this is a children's party game, Thwack. <laughs> and I'm having a party. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you ain't wrong. <laughs> Karna trying to ledge pressure this Frosty in the corner, but crossing up. That downs it's so good at crossing up the shield in general because yeah. you can mix up the safety of it with the second hit. And wow, these pillars coming to play he truly turns he turns this 
game into like a side-scrolling platform when he starts throwing axes and whatnot. He's really a boss character. Yeah. You had to play around his uh, his timings, that but killed. whoa! That killed. That axe somehow hit her? And more importantly, it killed. Yeah, it really did. I was there, you were there. The whole <laughs> audience was there. They, all there. <laughs> Every single third person was there. Down tilt. Down right. tilt. The low profile at a disadvantage is so slick. And we might see a 3 0 from Frosty, unless Karina makes something happen. High recovery. And okay, ooh, I'm dodging the forwarder somehow, but this yeet is not going to be enough. And when you give Richter the full access to that tether recovery, it makes his weakness almost a strength. Spacing brilliantly. Okay, the fair going to break the zone. That'll do it! A 3-0 victory for Frosty over the Canadian beast, Karna. Karna went an incredible run, actually ended up beating the person who 